Hey guys, today's video is about this magic little green box here, the Easy Generator Switch. This company did not send this out to me at all uh, or are sponsoring this video in any way, shape, or form. I purchased this with my own money, have had it for a little while now, and anyway, I want to uh, show you how it works and how it can be a lifesaver uh, for others of you out there. This is my gas-fired uh, furnace. From time to time, and uh, most commonly in my area, during the winter time, we will have uh, power outages. And those usually happen when a major uh, winter storm or something come through. And that's when heat uh, is uh, of the most importance. And so being able to run the, uh, the full household furnace here during a power outage uh, is, is critical and uh, and that's what this little box does. It makes it super super easy to uh, be able to run this uh, unit off a portable power station, gas generator, something like that. Please excuse the mess uh, that you'll see here. Uh, this room is uh, not only my furnace closet but also my storage uh, area and uh, for those of you who are HVAC technicians out there Fear not, I move all the stuff out uh, whenever my furnace uh, may need uh, service done. I do not try to wedge someone in here to uh, work on this with my stuff in the way. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how this uh, switch works. It's super easy. I'm not gonna go through detailing how you wire it uh, or anything like that uh, because there's a couple of different ways to wire it. You wire it one way uh, if your generator or power station has a floating neutral on it and you wire it a different way if your uh, generator is grounded at the generator. So uh, very simple, uh, it's just a switch and then notice uh, the outlet uh, right here. Now that has the prongs so that uh, your female end of the cord can attach. These prongs are never hot unless the cord is plugged into it, and obviously those are not accessible uh, when it's plugged in. So very safe. Uh, we've got a little um, resettable protection device right here, which is great. And then we've just got this uh, toggle switch. Notice down here, uh, we're in normal operation at the moment, and then we've got off, and we've got generator. So right now, we're receiving power from the grid, that's coming through this uh, Romex wire right here, and uh, it's powering the furnace. Now if I need to service this furnace or whatever, I would just flip this to the off position right there, the middle, and uh, that shuts the, the power completely off to the appliance. So this unit doubles as a service disconnect, uh, which is needed. And then to be able to run it uh, off a generator or a power station, it's super easy. All you gotta do is flip this up to the generator position right there. And then I've got a trusty extension cord. Let me just take our female end of the extension cord and uh, come over here and it just plugs right in. I like to support the back of this just because it's mounted to the side and to alleviate some stress on the screws that just plugs right in like that very easy and simple and then the other end of your extension cord plugs into your generator power station in our case today we're uh, using the blue eddy eb3a uh, it's a very very small power station you'll see that it uh, won't provide a ton of runtime for this furnace, but uh, believe it or not, uh, something this small and this cheap will actually power the furnace for a little while. So if you need just some emergency heat, uh, this is a great uh, solution. So we're just going to plug this in. And uh, you can see that uh, immediately uh, starts pulling some power. That's, you know, thermostats and uh, what have you uh, firing up. I'm gonna go inside and uh, trigger the furnace to uh, turn on, and uh, we'll watch it uh, run off of this. And you can see just how easy and fast the setup is. Quick inside tip, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to a playlist where I test uh, a whole bunch of uh, different things on power stations. And one of those tests is powering 
this furnace. And so if you want to see what other sizes and types of power stations are able to do uh, with this uh, furnace, uh, be sure and check that out. All right, I've removed the cover. You can hear the induced draft motor starting. You should uh, see the hot surface igniter going. There it is. Seventy-eight watts uh, at the moment without the fan running. And again, this is just powered going into this big extension cord, which everyone needs a thick extension cord like this. And then it's coming up and plugging into the generator easy switch. Completely running this off grid. Power's out, no sweat. This is running. We've got the fan that's ramped up now. I don't know if you can hear it. But uh, if we come over here and take a look, uh, you can see that uh, it's pulling 532 watts. So just about the max that this little teeny power station can run. Uh, but uh, at this current uh, state, it will run for about a half hour uh, if it was fully charged. So not too bad, you know, um, for something this small. Now there are larger power stations uh, out there that will run this for many, many hours. Okay, or you can plug this into a gas power generator. The point uh, of this is to show you the importance and how well this easy generator switch works for this application. It's literally as easy as flipping a switch and plugging a cord in and you're good to go. I think what a lot of people don't realize is during a power outage, if you're trying to heat your home with electric heat, heaven forbid, that's just gonna suck either batteries or giant generator uh, to run electric heat. So if you've already got uh, a natural gas or propane fired furnace, uh, to be able to just quickly connect it and uh, invest, you know, a couple hundred watts worth of electricity just to run the, the electrical components and in turn, you know, heat your entire house. Uh, I think that's uh, well worth it. And uh, for me, at least, it gives me substantial peace of mind. All right, everyone. So it's as easy as that. Flip a switch, plug one end of the cord into the easy generator transfer switch here, and then plug the other end into a power source and uh, you're good to go. Be sure and leave any questions uh, or comments uh, down below. Uh, I'd love to, to hear your thoughts and ideas. This switch uh, can not only be used, you know, for in a furnace application, but can be used in any 120 volt application that you may want to be able to run uh, off of, you know, a, a power station or a generator. So it is just one circuit's worth though. Um, so if you're wanting multiple circuits, you know, you'll need to look at something larger. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and smash that like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, so you don't miss out uh, on any future videos. We've got a lot of fun ones uh, in the pipeline uh, coming up that uh, I think a lot of you won't want to miss. We'll catch you next time.